Despite the heat this weekend, a lot of people will be headed to campgrounds to get away from it all. And others are doing a more glamorous form of camping. It's called glamping. Local 12's Larry Davis shows us how yurts provide an alternative for the not-so-hardcore camper. This is what's making some people do double takes when they drive through the campground at A.J. Jolly Park. It's definitely not your average tent. And it looks like a hobbit house. It's the one and only yurt. Larry Herod with Campbell County Park says it has been reserved every weekend at the campground. People just want to get away, camp, but not have to go with the problem of, you know, putting up a tent, bringing sleeping bags and all that. Uh, basically, all you need to do here is bring your bedding and everything else is here. On the outside, the yurt has a canvas cover, is 16 feet around, and has three windows. And this is the inside of the yurt. The yurt has many, but not all, of the comforts of home. Check out the hardwood floors. There's also electric outlets for fans and a microwave. No sleeping bags are needed. Futons provide a place to sleep. I've never been a big fan of camping, but let me tell you. I could sure get used to this, and this is what they call glamping. Don Matthews and two of her friends are camping in a yurt for the first time. Yes, it's, it's a lot easier. You roll up, you unload your stuff, and it's up. It's already up for you. It's really convenient. I think it's pretty cool. I like the fact that, like we said, it's kind of a tent type look. Actually, I think it looks like a little hobbit's house. <laughs> And to those hardcore campers who smirk at the sight of a yurt. I say they're crazy. It is camping. You're off the floor. You don't have to put a tent up. Not only are there the comforts of home, but this yurt provides a lake view. It's a campsite that's worth reserving again. Oh, heck yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely do it again. I can't wait to see the other ones when they come. <laughs> Maybe get a couple of our families out here and, you know, because we got a big family. <laughs> In Alexandria, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Larry Harrod says he received a call from one camper who wanted to reserve three yurts. There is currently only one, but a second yurt should arrive later this summer.